Hi, Glenn here from Marksman Enterprises, another undisclosed location in New Jersey where Marksman continues to clean up the earth one oil tank at a time. Today, we're conducting compliance groundwater monitoring for an in situ remediation project. See, what happened here is very big oil spill uh, traveled into the subsurface, contaminated soil and groundwater, and we are treating it in place under a New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection permit. Now, for more information about in situ remediation, check out our website, marksmanenterprises.com, or you can check out our upcoming video series in the classroom with Marksman, because today, this video is all about groundwater sample collection, proper procedure for that. So, come on along with us, we'll show you how we do it. And here's Sue filling out the chain of custody and all the labels for the bottles that we're going to be using to collect the groundwater samples today. She's got a lot of labels to fill out. Okay, so we're at our first monitoring well. Now, what we're doing is compliance groundwater sampling under a New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection permit by rule. So before we even take any water out of this well, there's a whole bunch of things we have to do first. So we're going to start at the very beginning. The DEP wants to see if there's any volatile organics in the well that might be coming up into the atmosphere upon opening the well. So we're going to do that first, then we're going to check for CO2 levels, and then we'll continue on. No readings there. That's good. As I've shown you in other videos, this is our photo ionization detector. It's a qualitative instrument that basically helps us in the field determining whether or not there's any volatile organics that are coming off into the atmosphere. Now we're checking CO2 coming up out of the well. Now we're going to collect a static water level reading. This is very important for two reasons. One, it helps us determine the purge volume, the amount of water that the DEP field sampling procedure manual says we have to draw out of this well before we can collect the sample. The other important thing is it helps us with static water level mapping. Plot after we collect the static water levels from all the wells, which way the groundwater is flowing. Look at all this stuff we have to use just to collect the water. Water level indicator, disposable baler, purge pump, with battery, tubing, etc. All of this goes into collecting one water sample. So we've collected our static water level measurement, we know the bottom of the well, and then we do a calculation to give us our three volume purge. And here we are purging our well. We need to pull out about 2.29 gallons before we can collect the groundwater sample for the laboratory, but we've already pulled a sample for physical parameters. We'll show that in a second. And here's Sue and her qualitative mobile laboratory. The DEP permit requires that we collect what's called physical parameters for each monitoring well before purging, after purging, and before sampling. And what she's going to be looking for is dissolved oxygen or DO, pH, temperature, and conductivity. We'll be shuttling these samples to her all day long. So here's Nick getting another round of static water levels. We have to actually do this before purging after purging and before sampling because the DEP wants to make sure we have not over pumped the well. See we want to just keep the water table down about two feet from its original static water level condition. And there we go. So Nick's getting ready to collect our first sample. He's getting the baler all set up and he's going to collect volatile organics first. The DEP field sampling procedures manual says Whenever you're collecting a groundwater sample for laboratory analysis, always collect bottled organics first. You'll see that in a second. It's a small 40 milliliter vial. We have to create a meniscus on it because we can't have any air bubbles in the small vial. Let's see. See how it's rising above the lip? That's good. Tap it. Let's see. No air bubble. Here's what we do with all that purge water. Put it in our Marksman Mobile Purge Drum. Well, a lot of effort went into it, but our work is done. Now it's time to get some ice on these and get them over to the laboratory. Okay, so you've seen groundwater sampling. We've shown you static water level collection, physical parameters, 
collection of sample, purge volumes, all that stuff. For more information about groundwater sampling, check out our website, marksmanenterprise.com. For more detailed explanation of what we did, check out our upcoming video series, In the Classroom with Marksman. Until then, this is Glenn from Marksman, where we'll continue to clean up the earth one oil tank at a time. Take care. Marksman Enterprises, where science meets nature. Did you just do that? Go swing on the swing. Go swing on the swing. What a long day with this kid. Baby.